Hi, Randy here with the Valentine Goose Channel, and I'm just making a quick impromptu video. I've been playing with the GPS coordinates, so what I've learned is that uh, I went to look up the poem because I didn't have a copy here on my work computer, so I just googled Forrest Fenn's poem, and I pulled up one of the random pictures, and this random picture cut the poem out of the map. And when it did that, I noticed that right next to begin at where warm waters halt is 12 degrees. And that made me wonder a few things. Now, before I tell you what, what I did with that 12 degrees, let me switch this. And again, I'm at work. I'm, uh, I'm just playing with numbers here. If you visit this pull-off, that's not, this is the Haynes Peak pull-off, or the Haynes Mountain pull-off, or the view, or whatever it is. And you walk down this boardwalk, you're about 200 feet. Well, if you go 100 feet into the woods, you're 200 feet from there. So I'm thinking that if the treasure was hidden, like right in this area, anybody that visited this pull-off and walked out on, the, on this was a 200-foot searcher. They just didn't go that extra, that extra 200 feet to cross the Madison. Cause I think a lot of people thought, well, there's no way he's going to have you cross a river. The other thing is, if you take this and stretch it, it's hard to do with my phone here. So if you're just driving down the road here, you're within 500 feet of that. That's 474 feet, you know, so that's... You're a 500 foot searcher just from driving down this road and I know um, I know that's been a lot of things a lot of people have been told oh I think it was uh, Dan that was told not Dan I don't know the names of all these people <laughs> but someone was told yeah you were within 500 feet and you didn't even know it or if you stopped in this pull off you know again you're you're within 500 feet and then if you decide to walk down here to the boardwalk you're within 200 feet you just didn't go that extra few feet but like i said i was playing around with the gps coordinates and i noticed well here's the, the, the poem i saw see how it's cut off and it says where warm waters halt is 12 degrees and right above the n in the first line is 13 degrees so i thought well i wonder if those are important somehow so i took the gps solve and you can see I've been playing with a whole bunch of the GPS's. Um, and if I add 12 to the first number and 13 to the second number, convert it to decimal, it puts me right, <laughs> right here next to this big pimple thing. Now granted, I think that's too far from the road to be anything. And I did, I played with this a few different ways, but it just kept putting me like right here. So unless the treasure was way off the road in here, I don't know. But I just think that's quite a coincidence that if you add 12 to the GPS coordinates, you're going to be right in that area of the Madison that a lot of people think it, it was. Um, so I don't know what to make of that. Um, again, I know that, I think Forrest just, I know people say he was a maverick, but I think he was also like a little, a little trickster and, you know, he would say, yeah, there's 500 foot searchers, but that was just because he knew they drove down this highway and anyone who drove down that highway is a 500 foot searcher. And if he knew the people stopped here and like walked out on the boardwalk, then uh, he would know that there were 200 foot searchers. And then if you put your feet in here, I, I'm told this is warm right here, where the warm waters halt would be the shoreline. I don't know. It's just, <laughs> I think where warm waters halt is at the uh, edge of the park. Um, way up there and then that's the canyon down that's the home of brown put in beneath the home of brown uh, 
the end is drawing nigh. You walk to the end of the boardwalk here. There'll be no paddle up your creek because you got to cross the river. And then the blaze would be in there somewhere. So, that's my hand. <laughs> I'm still playing with this. I'm still playing with these coordinates and, and, and adding. It was just such a coincidence that if you add 12 and 13, which is the numbers there, you get very close to that. And I still haven't done all the math because there's various ways you could add 12 and 13. Um, like I said, I did a couple of the ways. Um, and I still have some wood to go. But like I said, this is just an impromptu video of my thoughts. Uh, my thoughts and hopes and dreams. But it just makes sense to me. And um, yeah... It, the more you think about it, the more it makes sense. So, uh, and the GPS is just, I mean, the odds of that coming up inside the park in the first place is just astronomical. Um, and then, like I said, play with these numbers and you might just get the GPS location over there. And I've, I started from, I tried to backtrack it. I started with the GPS location from that 100 feet into the woods um, and that's where I noticed that's, that's adding 12 and 13, 12 to the first number and 13 to the second number, uh, 44, 38 instead of 44, 26 and 110, 55 instead of 110, 42. <laughs> so yeah, it's, it's quite the coincidence. Um, but anyway, just my thoughts, just some things going out there. Um. And I'm, I'm, I'm in the after party. I just heard someone say, fuck the Beacon Star. So we'll see how, where that goes. <laughs> no, I know he meant it in good, in good fun. So anyway, I just thought I'd put that out there. And I'm going to just upload this and see what happens.